to your audience everywhere, peace be upon you and blessing from Allah. To you, the most important news today. In the name of Allah, can I most merciful, the president, the great Mujahid Saddam Hussein, headed a meeting with uh, the leaders of Al Ba'ath Party in Baghdad in the presence of Mr. Taha Yassin Ramadan, the uh, vice president, and Jasim Atiyah, the member of Al Ba'ath Party of Baghdad, and Ali Hussein Fayyad, the member of uh, the presidential palace and Sultan Hashim Ahmed, the Defense Minister, Rasul Abdul Hussein, uh, Aggregation, ag uh, Agri Agriculture Minister, and the General Secretary. The President listened to a briefing from the different uh, members of uh, leaders of Al Ba'ath Party and the preparedness of our armed forces and the Fidayi Saddam and Al Quds Army uh, and the party cadres uh, and the people in general in Baghdad and their high spirit confronting the invading party. Uh, uh, invading uh, forces and destroying their plans so Baghdad will remain in the steadfastness capital of the world and destroy any uh, attacking uh, foreign invaders. The leader uh, gave very valuable instructions to the leaders of this fight. Uh, the Iraqi leaders of this fight while they are defending the future of Iraq and the people of Iraq and the cities and the villages and the holy sites and the capital of Iraq too. The president confirmed, may Allah keep him, uh, that the, uh, the spirit of the uh, leader should be constant and steady and he should not be afraid of the results. Uh, the leadership needs effective leader who have always high spirits uh, because this spirit will be transformed to his soldiers also. Those who cannot fight should let uh, other person who can do it. This is not the time for talk. This is time for effective leadership. Those who cannot lead should give the opportunity to other people. We cannot have uh, half solutions now. We need complete courage of leadership to influence the other. Leaders also should uh, not take their uh, uh, level of uh, spirit from their emotions. They should be uh, logic. The leader also should not follow up, but he should see with his own eyes. He uh, told the uh, leaders of the branch of Al Ba'ath Party and that the Ba'athites should be uh, believing on the pledges that they submitted to the to the party, uh, defending the nation and the holy sites. And this is the chance that uh, you always waited for, uh, and they should carry uh, their duties. He also repeated that the victory is at sight uh, but he wants to make sure that all the leaders have the presence in the theater of the battle and he said also that today is the day to examine the principles uh, to uh, see your de real determination and uh, we will see the performance of those leaders in the front lines against the invaders and how they apply the principles that grew for a long time in their hearts uh, in this nation. Uh, not just talk, uh, but determination, action, uh, and real fight. He also added, uh, may Allah help him and support him with victory. We are all working to uh, uh, repel any harm against the people and the nation of Iraq and for that we need to fight and resist and stand our uh, uh, group, our land and because of that our uh, goal should be not only to stand uh, 
and uh, fight, but to be uh, to um, develop new tactics that will exhaust the enemy and uh, uh, some kind of form of attrition against the enemy. He also added that uh, he is sure of victory because victory is from Allah and he was it was promised by Allah and it is in our heart. Audience, we presented to you the major headlines. Peace be upon you. Dear audience everywhere, peace be upon you and blessing from Allah. We represent to you a message from the hero, the leader, the Mujahid, President Saddam Hussein, to the people and the leaders of the tribes in our pr province of uh, Wasat. Dear citizens, peace be upon you. I read to you a message from the leader, the Mujahid, President Saddam Hussein, may Allah keep him, to the heroes of the area of Wasat and city of Quds and the heroes of Al Ba'ath party there and to the tribes of Al Basit and Al Qudus army. And here is the message In the name of Allah, kind and most merciful. Fight them until there is no sedition in earth. Allah is always truthful. Comrade Ghazi Hamoud Al Ubaidi, brothers and sisters in the area of Wasit and the city of Kut, the Mujahideen, people and tribes, and the army of Al Quds. It became happiness to our heart, your great fight and your heroic resistance. Also make every other believer happy the way you are fighting now. May Allah bless you, all you courageous ones, Ghazi and his followers, leading the resistance against the enemy in the area of Wasit. You are defending all of Iraq and defending the jihad, the honorable jihad. Peace, peace be upon you. Oh, the area of Wasit and its people. Peace, peace, oh Ba'athites, the principal holders and the faith defenders peace peace for those with the high spirit and for those who put their life as martyrs to reach to paradise forever peace to our friends and may Allah cure all the pain and the wounds for those who paid the price Fight them, may Allah defeat them on your hands, Allahu Akbar. And for them the defeat is their destiny. Live our nation, live Palestine, live Iraq, live Iraq. Saddam Hussein, in the first of Safar, 1424 Hijra, 3 of April, 2000, and three international media networks and arabic networks visited uh, saddam international airport in baghdad and uh, they saw for themselves uh, that things are normal in the airport this visit followed the lies of the uh, anglo-american invading uh, forces claims that they have reached to the airport. This visit ex uh, exposed uh, these lies of this criminal administration, the shameless, uh, um, with their clear lies. Uh, this twisted lie is not the first one that comes from this administration. Uh, they are used now to spread these rumors and lies uh, in a very desperate attempt uh, to raise the spirits of their mercenaries uh, 
and to destroy the morale of the Iraqi people. In response to Mr. Hamid Yusuf Hamadi, the cultural minister, last uh, week, uh, Jacques Yacon, the minister and communication minister of France, uh, uh, a call to the UNICEF uh, telling them in it that the humani humanity should give the first attention to children and women who are suffering viciously because of the attack against Iraq. He also added, it is our duty to uh, uh, maintain and protect uh, the Iraqi culture and history that is exposed uh, throughout the country in museums, libraries, and historical sites to these criminal attacks. Uh, he also recognized that Iraq is the beginning, or uh, one of the beginning points of uh, civilization where they dis uh, uh, discovered and invented science and, and, uh, and uh, culture and art. Uh, he also added that the protection of Iraq and its people and keeping the culture and the history is the responsibility of the whole world, including the United Nations. He also demanded uh, from the head of the UNICEF to tell the American administration and the British government that uh, France is very worried about what's going on with these historical and architectural sites. Also, on behalf of the European uh, Union, uh, uh, the uh, the Iraqi Minister of Culture sent uh, a uh, letter last week to the head of the UNICEF and to the Arab leaders and the non-Arab leaders telling them about the disasters that are facing the uh, architectures and historical old historical sites in Iraq because of the American bombardment, American-British bombardment, including Tikrit Museum, who was hit directly, which shows the hatred and the Ameri of the American Zionist British against the great uh, hero Salah al-Din al-Ayubi. Also, uh, the Ashuri uh, in Nineveh, Ashuri uh, sites also was hit and the city where Prophet uh, Ibrahim was born and the Sumaria uh, near al-Basra also all these sites were hit he asked the head of the UNISOL to condemn these crimes and he demanded uh, that both governments of British Britain and the US to stop immediately the bombardment uh, air uh, bombardment of these sites also, the uh, general manager of UNICEF, uh, Mr. Al-Mansour, uh, in Iraq, uh, issued a statement uh, asking uh, the uh, culture minister of Iraq uh, for, to issue this uh, letter. The American administration, defense ministry, ministry the Pentagon, mentioned that uh, 49 uh, American soldiers only were killed in this failed uh, attack against Iraq since the 20th of Azhar March. The uh, uh, French newspaper uh, transferred on, uh, uh, on a uh, Pentagon uh, spokesman there, that there is only 150 American soldiers injured. The spokesman did not determine or say whether these numbers were in one battle or in a series of battles, uh, but and also showed a grave in, uh, contradiction uh, between the previous statements and this one. He also, the spokesman, confirmed that uh, there are also 15 personnel that are considered missing in action and he did not mention their names uh, he said they were uh, lost during the last battles uh, but he didn't mention when and where these uh, facts contradict the uh, reality in the theater of battles uh, which shows that the numbers are doubles and doubles uh, more than these mentioned by the spokesman. Uh, a spokesman in Darmstadt uh, base in Germany said that the base is becoming a bridge to move 
the hun hundreds of injured and killed American personnel, while a British hospital uh, uh, was filled with the bodies of the injured and the killed uh, British soldiers. The American command also mentioned in a statement today that F-18 uh, plane was downed by uh, anti-aircraft fire uh, again in a sortie against Iraq. Uh, the American command every time when they lose any planes they claim whether it's fighter or helicopter they claim that it is because of technical malfunction or friendly fire also the administration uh, did not mention large number of helicopters and fighters uh, which were downed uh, since the beginning of the war uh, and uh, provide fictitious stories uh, about the reasons that they lost these planes. And the world now becoming more and more familiar with these lies and these stories and this propaganda that is controlled uh, by the Zionists, the international Zionism. The aggressors targeted uh, civilian uh, areas in Baghdad and around it. Uh, there uh, was uh, was cluster bombs. Their cluster bombs hit one of the schools in uh, one of the districts of Baghdad. This is another attack against Iraq and the children, civilian children of Iraq, in Al Shab city of Baghdad, uh, at uh, Janine Primary School, surrounded by uh, uh, mosques and houses, and on the other side there was orphanage. This attack uh, targeted this school with one of the worst uh, banned weapons, cluster bombs. The target was very clear, uh, children and civilians. Uh, they destroyed these houses and uh, through the windows hit the innocent civilians. And this is one of the civilians. It was 10.30. Yeah, in the morning, and I was in the garage, and the children, one of the children of our neighbors called me to talk to him, and then all of a sudden I heard the big bang of the missile, and uh, the whole world just became dark, a um, big part of our house fell uh, broken, the children were screaming, um, we didn't uh, have any time to run away, and I didn't feel anything but that I'm in the hospital. And they took an X-ray, uh, my back, uh, my, uh, my legs are hurt. Forty bombs in one bomb. Is this the modern weapon, the smart weapon? They are targeting the children and the civilian. Those people are now eyewitness to what happened. Uh, this is not a missile. Uh, this is uh, cluster bombs. They say they never hit civilian targets. But look around you. This is a school and these are houses. There is not even one single uh, soldier here. These are like four or five. My house and my neighbor houses, four or five houses. They are all civilian and all children. Uh, they hit us and they hit our neighbors. I want to show the whole, whole world to see what America is doing to us. Uh, uh, now they said they don't never use it. Well, bring them here. We'll show them. Yeah, uh, during the the uh, the sorties, uh, the bomb, uh, we saw like a container fell, and in it there was like 40 or 50 smaller bombs. And here is the house of, of Abu Ahmed. Uh, and we were just in one second, like the whole sky fell on our head. Uh, five minutes and it repeated again. Uh, we don't have injured people, but uh, three houses. Uh, we went to these houses that have injured ones and we took them outside. Uh, the woman have sharp shrapnels in her chest and in her legs and their father lost his leg. We took them from the house. That means that the bomb went inside the house? Yes, the bomb went inside the house uh, from the windows. 
and from the door. Please take a picture for this. One there and one in the kitchen. I hope uh, they are not successful. They want to come, uh, they can come, but they are not going to be. Uh, they are not going to be successful. Let them hit as much as they want. They will. Uh, they will not come and occupy us. But uh, if they come here, we will cut them to pieces. We will eat them. I swear by God, by our souls, by our bloods, we protect you, Saddam. By our soul and our blood, we protect you, Saddam. As you see, there is smart bomb. They used in a civilian district and in a primary school, they used cluster bombs. This is uh, the primary school in Al Shab area, Inas Al Qabani, Iraq Satellite Television, Baghdad. The last uh, headline news all over the world, more than restrictions condemning the uh, British and American attack against Iraq. In Mexico City, the demonstrations carried, uh, destroyed several, uh, attacked several American restaurants and they put signs on these uh, restaurants against the war uh, and against the United States and they asked people to uh, uh, stop eating or uh, uh, using these uh, restaurants. After that, they walked to the American embassy and hit it with eggs and tomato. They burned the American flag uh, and uh, uh, effigy of the small bush. Uh, in Rome also, several union, labor union in Italy, asked for uh, going out in demonstrations against the war in Iraq. The demonstrations, the demonstrators burned the, the British and the American flags, but the police uh, prevented them from reaching to both embassies and uh, surrounded them with a security corridor. Uh, also, uh, in the fifth of the month, the uh, Islamic, uh, in Islamabad, the Islamic movements combined, uh, organized large demonstrations. From Baghdad of peace and faith and victory, uh, we presented to you the news, peace be upon you.